Yo, good morning guys. We are here at Kalang Riverside uh, where the Leoring Clinic is going to be held. Me and Jali here in the morning. Morning. Bright and early. Right? We're going to see what the uh, event unfold here today at the Leoring Clinic. Hello guys. Hey, how are you? Okay, I need to go to the rest room. <laughs> Okay. This is uh, Hakim here from Urban Angler just arrived and uh, we're gonna do some awesome awesome videos for you today. Hopefully you stay tuned and watch. Sangat so nice apa? Okay. Over the sports hub. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you guys, man. Bye. Marina Reservoir Fishing Ground So we're gonna do the luring clinic here today And uh, Bro Jari here Make sure you subscribe, comment and like on ZSG's channel uh, I hope that whatever we impart with you today May help boost your hookup rate Or to some extent improve your fishing in general lah. Uh, We are all here, are not, to be honest, I don't think we all are here are newbies We all been fishing for, for quite some time and I believe you all are here also just for the like, 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 mini gathering for all of us lah to share some tips and of course uh, to enjoy fishing as a whole. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna cover a few topics. Then uh, firstly we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna open up the session with uh, some safety rules lah. Uh, for that. Mm. Hi guys, my name is. Abdul Rahim. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to intro myself. My name is <laughs> Aslam. You can just call me Lam, and then uh. Hi, Lam. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, what we're gonna share with you guys today, uh, there's no right or wrong. I believe like, This is my personal belief. There's no right or wrong in fishing. It's just a proper or improper way to do it, or maybe it might be a safer or not so safe way to do it. So, uh, with that, I begin with the proper safety aspect of fishing. Not really proper lah, just, um, just a safe way to fish. Yeah. For example, when you <laughs> For example, when you cast, I think, I mean, all you guys, I think, uh, basically, it's very seasoned anglers. So, very, very basic, back to square one. Before casting, always check your blind spot, left, right. And people or any structures surrounding you. Other than that, where you want to cast ahead, make sure there's no, if you are fishing in reservoirs, canals, there's no kayaks or boats around, especially those cleaner boats and touch wood, PUV boats. Yeah. So, yeah, if you see any wildlife, lah, other than fish that you are targeting, try not to power hook them with intention. Because uh, you know that nowadays we have those auto watch society, water we watch society. We don't want to create any uh, any friction with them. So because as a community, I believe we do foresee our angling community till a certain extent. No? Like for example, Hakos Sekaster, Hakos Sekaster is, is here today. They they are doing the luring by the bay. So if we were to do this kind of unnecessary things like power hooking the otters or some other nuisance act uh, it's going to be hard for future organizers to send in their proposal to create this kind of future events not for them but for all of us so i believe safety first then the other comes in with, with it okay? okay any question about safety first hey guys uh, behind me is the session which is uh, ongoing right now uh, Rahim and Lam are actually the facilitators for this event. Um, the participants are all here, as you can see. Uh, they are watching the, the event unfolding, and I think it's a very positive and uh, informative uh, event that we are doing right here. Um, definitely, these anglers that you see down here are seasoned, and um, maybe 
one or two percent are new so the rest are all quite seasoned anglers and for them to come down here to actually learn more is uh, commendable and um, that should be the spirit because even though we, we know a lot of things but we still come down to, to learn more things from others and that's the spirit that we want to cultivate in, in such an event um, nobody is 100% knowledgeable there's always that extra thing that we need to learn and uh, we are humble enough to accept that yes we do have things to learn and therefore this is the kind of event that we are organizing uh, hopefully definitely we want to see more of these such events in the future because uh, these events are, are very useful for anglers right how do you think the event so far so far is good very very informative guys you will not get this when you maybe uh, go alone like for myself uh, I'm a yeah. you have to have some kind of uh, someone to tag someone who already fishes for quite some time and able to share you this kind of knowledge fishing is not just getting a setup because it's not as simple as that it's, there's a lot of uh, small small detail that you have to go through yep very and, technical uh, details and one, well, there, there's one uh, part that uh, they mentioned that you have to believe in in the thing you do uh. that is very true if you believe in the thing that you do, you will bound to get the, the goal. The result that we want. Let's continue and see what they, what else they have in store for us. Right. I, I don't want to touch about snake in the two months because not really my cup of tea. I don't really like go to go for them because I'm using a setup that is light. So I don't want to get bullied by them going under structures and whatnot. But maybe if about snake in two months, please tell Mr. Man to share more about. Oh, man. Come on, come. Uh, okay, uh, I shall share some of it. Uh. Based on my experience, uh, it's not I'm a master or whatnot. Uh. I'm not a master. Uh. Okay, so basically, I always told them <laughs> how to catch so much. Uh. So always three things. Uh. You need to get a good spot. One thing. Okay, second thing is your casting. Your casting needs to be accurate. Because so much like to breathe uh, for air. So the moment you see they breathe for air, that's where you cast directly at them. It's either above beyond them or either below them okay then after that third is always luck Toman are aggressive takers but it's always depend on luck whether they want to take or they don't want to take sometimes they just had their lunch or dinner or whatsoever so the moment you cast out your lure they won't take so like I say it's always luck once but the most important thing is always the spot but of course I don't share with you all I don't share I thought you were sharing session yeah, yeah. Sharing session. <laughs> sharing. Okay, now, but now. these are the three things lah <laughs> Okay, so my most effective lure for me to catch the one is always the water lure. Uh, those noisy kind, rattling kind of bus bait. Uh, yeah, bus bait. Uh, but so far, uh, I've got the one on those uh, top water pencil like Storm Arashi, the dual release pencil, and of course, uh, the latest one is the bone hoverjet. Okay, hoverjet is good. Reason why? Because it's dual function. You can either use it as a prop or maybe as a Working pencil lah. Okay, so this are uh, the two of the most effective ways. Okay, so recently I got my own teammates who have yet to catch a toman, which is Azri here. So he been wanting to get one, so I brought him one day to spot, <laughs> and I guide him along the way, and he managed to get it lah. He managed to get it. Okay, due to hard work and stuff lah. Okay, I was there with him, I guide him along, and then uh, managed to get one lah. It was a good size, I think. Size, right? Yeah. So it's all about luck, right? I would say. Of course, the spot, ah. Obviously, spots makes a lot of different. Imagine you cast here, you think got toman. <laughs> I don't know, lah. Luck, lah. That's why I say it comes to luck. Okay. So certain area, toman like to hang around those very calm waters, those kind of, uh, you know, like like a cove kind of area. Okay. Because usually how they work, what I notice, lah. How they work is first, like usually they will go and hunt. For their, they hunt for food. They go out, find for bait fish or whatsoever, find for their food. So these are a good timing for you to hunt for toman. Usually it's the first light. What's that? The type of retrieve you use to to entice them? I mean, slow retrieve or fast one? Based on my experience, I love to use walk the dog. Uh, usually I walk the dog maybe about three, four times. I pause three, four times and then I pause. Usually most according to my, I mean up to my, uh, my experience uh, they usually take it on the pause. They don't chase. I'm not sure why lah. But 
Uh, depends lah, it depends. This one is my based on my experience lah. Usually I use walk the dog. Those bus bait I find that sometimes they retreat quite fast lah. Do, do they take the mm. Yes, sometimes they take. Uh, I've experienced in Thailand. Thailand works well if you use, uh, I mean, if, if you use bus bait, it works well in Thailand. They are aggressive there because it's the so-called the natural habitat there lah. But I still prefer walk the dog for two months. What's up, man? Thank you. Thank you, guys. I have nothing much. <laughs> <laughs> Along the way, if you see us, you got any questions about this and that, by all means, please approach us yeah. and ask. And uh, uh, feel free to yeah, take, feel free the, to take the drinks, mm. the goodie bags there. If not enough, I'm so sorry. But yeah. Whoever first come first serve kind of thing lah. Huh? Mm. And the water, please take. And okay, close up. Okay, you guys just. Uh, I hope whatever we shared today was very meaningful. Uh, just like Rahi mentioned, if you feel if you are shy to us now, you can always shy us. Uh, you can always ask us along the way. We we have no problem trying our best to answer your questions. Uh, for now, let us all go and fish. Let's have some fun together. And then. Uh, once again, thank you for gracing our session. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I mean, being from UA, really appreciate it. Uh, because uh, we didn't expect the turnout to be this much. We were actually quite skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> people were going to come for this thing. But you all came. We are very honored that you all came. Uh, so now, okay, enough talking. Lah. You all go fish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go oh, photo, go photo. Oh, yeah. okay. ah. So we just ended the session. So all of us are going to take some photos. Hello. Hey, Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. Hey. Oh, the season is good. Drone? Drone, I need to set up a uh, drone. Uh, hey, man. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I just moved here from the United States. I see. Welcome to Singapore. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Ramli. Nice, nice to meet you, man. Yeah. yeah. So we we are nice here to organize this urine clinic to to make uh, people who are new to Singapore yeah. uh, know our local water. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm new. I'm, I'm going to be here for like three years. So. I see. I'm, I'm enjoying it because I used to be a big bass fisherman. Ah, okay. So we, we do have bass here in Singapore. Do you have large mouth though? Oh no, we yeah, don't yeah. have. <laughs> Unfortunately, but yeah. we, we have substitutes that yeah, yeah. for you to have fun. Peacock, here. yeah. Yeah, peacock. And, uh, have you caught any? I've caught one that's about that big. That's a start. So here, my friend here, he's got big ones. Okay, so wow. Areas. So you, you just need to try. And, and Would that be a good lure for you? Yeah, you can. You can. Okay. Is, the only problem here is maybe there are some areas where there are snacks. So like, just now you explained, maybe you want to try with soft plastic. Those soft cheaper, plastic. cheaper okay. lures first, then after that you, yeah. you feel the ground. If there's no snacks in the area, then after that you can okay. move over to the more expensive lures. Okay. So at least you, the... the, the Thing don't cost you so much. You lost yeah. <laughs> do they prefer which? Do they prefer soft plastics or do they like the maple? They they go for both. Uh, both. Yeah, both. Even even soft plastic, they they go for it. And it's not right. This is a good size, or would it be small? Yeah, I've got some with this size. It's, and if uh, you want to uh, move move to smaller profile yours, so you can. Okay, yeah, because I want to catch anything. I'm happy with anything. <laughs> That's a good attitude to have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have fun, man. Yeah. Catch you later. Thank you. Thank no you very much. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Good. <laughs> okay. So the organizer here, uh, Mr. Rahim, who's uh, just finished the the session. <laughs> okay. What do you need to? You can say about the session overall. What do you your your so-called first impression of the people who came here and everything? First thing first, I was really actually surprised by the turnout. Didn't expect it to be this. Way. I mean, we are all anglers, 
and I think majority of us just begin and just started to get to know and get involved in this industry. So it's surprised that people giving us this support. We have like admin from Kaiser or Fishing Paradise if you guys know. Yeah. And we have people from Luring Clinic, people from Hub Hustle Custer to come and support us. So that shows how uh, supportive our community and anglers can be. Uh, Towards one another. So, in the in, in the years to come, do you see yourself doing this uh, again for the angling community? Yeah, yeah uh, it's it's fun to do this. It's it's also uh, beneficial for all. So I think if some if it's positive, why not yep. we do it again? Some of the feedbacks that I got from the anglers we are interviewed at the Waters Asia Snow, they like it because uh, it's, it's refreshing and some of them are really new to freshwater fishing so they, they learn a lot today. So I think with that feedback, it will motivate you more to, to spur on you more to, to this, do this kind of event. Uh, it's a good job. I, I really commend you for the, the event that you had today. Uh, very well organized. I think it's uh, beneficial for like the angling community. We need this more. Definitely. Thank you so much. On behalf of the angling community, thank you so much, Open Anglers, and yourself and your crew uh, for doing this. Thank you very much. Awesome, man. Okay, thank you. Good morning. So, how do you find the... Uh, the event this morning, uh, clinic. very educational uh, for urban because uh, I usually go basic so I never done any urban that, that much uh. so uh, it's very more pressure water yeah. so you need to have a specific lure to maybe downsize yeah. to catch it. Uh. Yeah. Uh, for anything, I'm just enjoying it because I'm long time of fishing, <laughs> uh, busy working. So I just meet them at Facebook. So it's time for me to meet them in person. Uh. So yes, I'm so happy to meet you in person. <laughs> I know you, this guy always likes uh, Zrak SD post and my post. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, in the future, we, we can fish together. Yeah. You know my FB, you just yes. PM me. I, I just want to go Ubin with you guys. Uh, oh, no. Definitely, fishing, fishing, fishing time. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank same. you so. Feel like the lorry killing is very good for the new anglers, especially. Even for seasoned anglers, there are certain things that I don't really know just now. Mm -hmm. But uh, the knowledge has already imparted just now. I try to imply because not everyone, like I say lah, no one is a good, nobody is the best at fishing. It's it's a sharing uh, hobby. Everybody needs to share, pick up from. Other anglers, then you find what, what suits you. And it's always a constant learning. Yes, process. it's always a constant learning. There's no such thing as you learn the big ones for one week and you are the best. Yep. Yep. You would the, the, the train might just have stopped and then you just have to keep casting. Yeah. So just just keep casting, keep learning, that's how you fish. And that's how you learn the big ones on a consistent way. And he's the man because he <laughs> keeps landing the big ones. It's and, just and it's just pure luck lah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go to his and what he says dream big. Look at that, man. Yeah, he, dream big. You gotta dream big. big. He works hard and he lands the bees. <laughs> That's why you I You gotta say. work hard for them. Yeah, I have to work hard. Yeah. It's I a mean. different kind of game, like. like okay. Uh, okay, very informative. Actually, most of the things I don't know. So, uh, to be honest, I, I'm not a fisherman. I'm a sort of a management, uh, you know, uh, organizer. Lah. So if you ask me about fishing, I might not know all the answers. I just know how to cast. <laughs> ah, that's but okay. But well, whatever uh, I've learned today, uh, especially the, the the kind of uh, the vision of the lures, uh, the timings of the fishing, the the fish identity, uh, even to the choice of your rods and reels, I do find it very very informative. Uh, which is I believe uh, is a basic thing for for us to know lah okay. before we set off set off for for, for luring lah. I see. Yeah. Then. Uh, if you have another chance to come down for future events such as this, will you? Oh. Actually, my first recommendation is I want <laughs> uh, Lam and Rahim to to keep it up and you know uh, keep keep uh, how to say sharing sharing their their, their knowledge to, to to the public lah uh, to to all all, all the English English community lah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that. I buy. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Time. No, we need. Uh, time, we like need this type of lot of initiative to be uh, yeah, done here in Singapore. Okay, so, okay, so, what what the guys? Ah, then my friend has spare give me. About the English. Then I just service. Ah, just just buy two bearings. Then just let you come up. No, you buy bread. This is a very good initiative done by the guys from local angling community. we need this type of event to be done here a lot in Singapore. Ah, it's good lah. Because emphasize a lot. 
Local and green scene. The, if we can have instantaneous feedback from you, what is the first thing that you want to say? I mean, for future events such as this. Future events such as this, ah, keep on doing it, ah, keep on doing it, keep on. You guys are gonna have a lot of support, lah. This is a stepping stone, ah. This is the first time, right? You guys will do it. Then followed by hardcore support sequester guys is gonna be doing. During by the bay, it's it's a it's a good event. It's a good one thing to me personally. It's a good healthy event. Ah, they have secondhand seafood. That's why we hopefully hopefully this type of events ah get get some attention by the authority lah. So that in the future when they see that this event is a good event, it's a healthy event. Maybe due to all this type of event, we have legalized the ground to fish more. By the way, guys, if you do not know who this guy is, he's Mr. Kwe, uh, Relix Nusantara representative for Singapore. So you guys, if you know that I'm using Relix all the time, you want to order this rod? The number is right here, man. Click on the number right here. His number, go and click. Buy the rods from Relix Nusantara. Really value for money and really awesome. Everything is here. Get it? Chunky one two three, Chunky two two six. All the chunky, all the Relix. Oh, the Relix Nusantara fam And the Rotan with the Setan This is also Rotan, you see Ah, oh, Setan, you see, Rotan here, so many All the, all the Relix guys are here lah, you see Okay, Kacau Boda, Rotan, Cangkik, 226, Cangkik, 123 All here All the... Ah, this is the guy Anything, contact Mr. Kabe Kabe, the number is down here At his body here, number here Ah, contact Ding, 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 ding Ah, ah uh, first of all, I came late. Uh, <laughs> it was a good, so a good meet up session. Everyone from all different parts of Singapore coming here, so yeah. all. And at the same time, yeah, okay, we can learn a lot from all the shifus of the urban uh, on how to catch all the different, different type of fishes, lah. Right. Other than that, okay, it's good. So now we're gonna try to like so cast, okay. Talk here, talk in there, who knows? We learn a lot of things. We're gonna learn a lot of new things. Yep. It's, about, so, it's about connection. Connect yeah, network, network. Network, network, network. 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 It's all about network, everything. So we see how. So if there's anything, okay, you can pass it up in English. They will really be around here. Or even track, I see. So yeah, your also. channel, yourself, your channel? My channel, lah. my channel is normal, normal one. My own vlog one. Uh, but you can follow me. Lah, huh? His channel down here? Yeah. Okay. okay. Go and see the link here, your channel will be down here. I'm right. more to salt water actually. Uh -huh. But this is my first time fresh water. I mean not first time. My first year doing my fresh water. So yeah, other than that, you can watch my channel. I do a lot of salt water. Okay. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Oh, bro, mm. how do you find uh, the session today? Do you think that uh, you see yourself doing this in the coming years? Uh, hopefully, we start small. But important thing, we start something. And hopefully with this uh, small success, it can lead to something more, uh, to more success in the future lah. Uh, hopefully the turn out with more, maybe the location will be bigger. Who knows, uh, the legal ground as you can see is quite small. But hopefully with uh, the proper uh, knowledge is still in the anglers in the future. They practice the correct uh, fishing uh, etiquettes and whatnot. Maybe the POV decides to extend the legal ground. We can have a bigger event in the future. Hopefully, so, yeah. authorities, you, mm. if you are listening, mm. definitely we have uh, done our part mm. to make sure that all the anglers in Singapore comply to your regulations. So hopefully mm. that uh, you guys can extend the illegal areas in Singapore. We definitely need it. Mm. Definitely need it. People like us, anglers, we are happy go lucky. Mm. Uh, we want to fish. Right. We are not going to hurt anybody. So mm. opening up the legal grounds and for us to comply to your regulation, mm. that is a win-win situation. Right. Definitely. We want this in the future. As long as you made it clear that such grounds are meant for anglers who are into luring and are into catch and release, I'm pretty sure that uh, the anglers themselves are, will are willingly going to comply to your rules and regulations. Uh, so, people that are doing the illegal netting and whatnot, uh, maybe you should heighten your protocol for, do for such people uh, instead of uh, the ones who are actually practicing the uh, proper etiquette of fishing. So, what are the things that you want to say to those anglers out there who, who are not here today? What do you want to say to them? Okay, uh, for for you guys who didn't manage to attend our theory clinic, it's okay. 
uh, at the end of the day we all have uh, different values in terms of how we learn this uh, sport of fishing so my take my so called uh, words to you uh, you just keep doing what you're doing uh, if you if you feel that what you're doing is right then so be it but then if you feel that you are lacking in some areas or you feel that you want to improve in certain areas my advice to you is uh, do open up yourself to uh, to mingle with the other anglers in the community and then uh, from there you can gain better knowledge and hopefully uh, improve your in general uh, your fishing that's uh, my take lah. Definitely go and go to their Facebook, Urban Anglers. And if you have any questions, do drop them a line mm. or PM them or just ask on yeah. the spot. We yeah. will try our very best to answer yes, your question. Yeah. We are not pros here. We are anglers ourselves. We are not pros. Uh, but we can share as much as uh, knowledge that we know, that we have. And hopefully, uh, by God's grace, uh, you get nice hookups in the future. Lah. Yeah. Better see us. Uh. Mm. Thank you so much. No worries. Right, good job, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> where's the sport? Eh? <laughs> where's the sport? Don't ask where's the sport. Eh? Nice. Sport is just for me. You... Like, sport, sport is not an important. Yeah. Like, the most important is like if you really know that you are going to this place and you have confidence that you have you gonna get fish on that day. Trust me, you will get yeah. fish on that day. So sport is not a, really a thing for me. Like. How about attitude? Attitude wise. Was okay for me like if I go fish in urban areas and I manage to find like uh, like walk past by other angles I just just don't don't be like you know, action like that uh, like, just just go to just say hi yeah because by by doing that like, you who knows you can make friends uh, then from there you can share your knowledge yes. uh, and others like, like how 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 I know I am right uh, is is but like how I fish then suddenly I saw him with his BMD first then I spot him and then from there we get to know <laughs> good for newbies like me especially because uh, we learn a lot of new things uh, share among anglers yes. uh, good practices uh, what are the things to look out for especially when it comes to lures the different types and how we work the lures I like the when they especially emphasize on us targeting the three columns of the water. Correct. Top, mid, bottom. Because I don't believe many anglers will actually uh, practice that. Yeah. Because anglers will have their own preferences uh, yeah. basically. So majority of people top water. I uh, think very little will actually go uh, deep, sinking. Yeah, I think good sharing uh, of yeah. uh, overall. This one is our bro Yan Monsta. <laughs> How how you find the sharing session this morning? Meaningful? Okay. <laughs> Your man. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I hope you you gain something like from this. Correct. Okay, uh, please come and register for the luring by the bay this coming uh, October. Uh, the, the registration still open. Hopefully. 26 uh, October, 20, 20th October. 20th October. Alright. This uh Luring by the Bay, the first in Singapore, the best crowd. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Click on the link below. Join us. Okay, thank you. Come to the end of the luring clinic for today. Definitely, as you can see from the videos, a lot of interaction, a lot of learning, a lot of uh, so-called hopes for the future of uh, angling in Singapore. We definitely want to, want to share with you this experience for the future of anglers that are in Singapore right now. This event not only encompasses the the spirit of angling and but also the spirit of learning, because uh, as we can see today, there's a lot of learning that's going on. A lot of interaction among anglers themselves. So, all of us here are happy to be part of it. This first ever by Urban Anglers. Thank you so much, Urban Anglers, for organizing this event. Thank you so much, Matthew. 
Matthew from Cook Them with Matthew. First light, first cast, Zantan and crew. Come here. Here we have Matthew. Cook Them with Matthew. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to first light, first cast. Who else? Mr. Zantan. Yes, sir. Mr. Azri. Yeah, man. So. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget. Yeah, don't forget. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> Say, <it>. subscribe. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for your support. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.